Hello, my name is Designer Dave, co-host of the Item Podcast into the Endless Metaverse, and today we're going to talk about NFTs. Oh, Holy geez, shit, Morty, look, look at this piece of shit. You are slime God, unbridled. Shit, I actively NFT fucking NFT hate you, and, and, and I wish you only banked up to your entire society. Fuck you. Planet, um, obviously, you. Obviously, NFTs are a controversial subject. Shit, Morty, look at this piece of shit. You are slime unbridled. I actively fucking hate you, and I wish you only banked up to your entire society. It's not like uh, I want to be a spokesperson for how they're currently being used. But before we get into that, I think that it's important we explain a little bit about what NFTs really are and how they're currently being used. So let's, uh, let's do a little talky talk. So NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens, are basically a marker on a blockchain that can be used to as a receipt for the purchase of a piece of art or anything, really anything. Um, currently, their usage is pretty terrible, <clears throat> and the majority of people who are in this market are indeed scammers. So it is not a consumer-friendly place to be at the present day. But there are a number of companies that are trying to do good and are working towards something better than what we currently have. And as new chains are formed and new tokens are formed, we are seeing more elaborate things occur uh, with the usage of smart contracts. Smart contracts are simply a programmed component of a blockchain that can do things. And right now it's limited but it is going to get better over time. And eventually I see a future where the blockchain can be used for immeasurably good things. Uh, a decentralized format for archival of games. But we'll get to that much, much later. For now, just know that NFTs in their current state are simply a indicator on a blockchain that declares ownership of a digital good for an individual. If you have it in your wallet, you own it. If you transfer it to someone else, they own it. You can buy, sell, and trade as you would in real life with, say, an object. The valuation of that token, that NFT or the cryptocurrency itself, is entirely up to the marketplace and the individuals involved in the transaction to determine. Therefore, <clears throat> currently, the NFT market and the cryptocurrency market in general are very volatile. And as a result, there's also a lot of scammers in the marketplace because the technology is new and people don't understand it. 